What is going on guys, Vert Devoten here, and I'm gonna do my first highlight video in a really long time, um, highlighting this amazing mod that has become an absolute staple in my Fallout 4 load order that I've been using for probably the last six months. And uh, I, it's like an iPhone, I can't, once you have it, you can't really live without it. And it's really unfortunate because it doesn't seem to be uh, very popular. It seems to be kind of going under the radar. And there are some other mods that I think are more popular that do something similar, but not quite as amazing. So Improved Lighting Ballistics is a mod that this guy, uh, Ryan JP 89 uploaded. And what it does is literally improve the lighting ballistics of all the weapons in the game to uh, a f almost like a fantasy like quality that is just absolutely amazing. Um, and you'll see this later in the video once I go through the weapons. Now, before we get into the video aspect of it, I want to kind of go over a couple of things. So in my game, I don't use an EMB. Uh, I don't know if it's compatible with EMBs or which EMBs it's compatible with, anything like that. This is unfortunately, as of right now, just for PC. Um, it doesn't have that very many downloads, unfortunately. Um, I, I really want to help promote this and get this out there. Now, here's the thing. There is something, what I would say is quote unquote weird with the game, uh, or with the mod with this downloaded. And I asked about this, um, is that other people found this too, is that with certain weapons that have an inherent suppressor whether it's like the deliverer in game or um, you know, maybe you pick up a weapon that's already got a suppressor on it that's a ballistic, the shots don't come out the traditional like yellow red or orange yellow um, and comes out pink, like hot pink. Now don't get me wrong, I love my cyberpunk hot pink, especially for laser weapons. My, actually my bike is hot pink that I commute to work with every day. And there's nothing wrong with that, but it does feel a little off when it comes to a ballistic weapons, right? Especially a small one. So where is it? Um, if those that are downloading it, yeah, right here. So this poster, UTX7, who posted this uh, last year, who I have to thank, uh, literally step-by-step, step, this guy kind of walks you through how to use Fallout 4 Edit to change it. And I was actually able to change it in game. I felt like a, I mean, a fake modder, but I, you know, this is the most modding I've ever done is actually gone into the edit into someone else's mod and changed aspects about it that I could see in game. Now, really all I'm doing is going in and changing the color, right? Of, uh, you know, and I'm not doing this experimentally. Like I'm literally going step-by-step step that this guy laid out and this worked perfectly. So if that's something you want to do, Awesome. If you don't want to go through that trouble, what I would suggest is downloading another, uh, like there's like Spitfire or Weapons of Fate. I'm using Weapons of Fate with this because Weapons of Fate only covers ballistics and it's uh, primarily like tracers and uh, bullet trajectory, right? So it affects a little bit more than this mod does. But here's the cool thing is that this mod, even if you use it with Weapons of Fate, only ballistic weapons will be affected. All the other weapons that you see here will not be. And I'm gonna show this in the video. This is absolutely amazing. Now, before you go off and download this mod, which this is what I hate about the modding community. This is, they do this all the fucking time. They go in here and they start complaining like, hey, this isn't compatible with my specific loadout and setup. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Shut the fuck up. Stop whining. Figure it out yourself, right? I mean, there are literally... Oh, look, even like Hollywood Spitfire, right? Here are some suggestions. Do a little reading before you fire off in the comments, you fucking snowflake. Anyway, okay, I'm fine. I'm cool. I'm good. So before you start piling on this guy who created this amazing mod, who probably has some other mods too. Go to his profile. So he's work. He's gonna update this, and he's working. Holy crap! He's working on this. Uh, oh, what happened is that he's working on this one, this jungle camo. He said in a post and an up. Oh, Can I download this. I have the Ru five five six. 
Oh, this is the MK. Damn! Look at this thing. I told myself I wasn't going to download any sort of modern weaponry or um, clothing. And uh, that didn't work. Oh, fuck. Look at that. That's so good. Download this right now. We have 2K. Download that. Do I have Vortex open? Yep. Just downloaded. Going to have to look at Anyway. So uh, let's go ahead and get, let's get back on track here. Let's go ahead and go back to uh, improved lightings and ballistics. So again, amazing mod. I highly suggest using it with Weapons of Fate. Um, right now, I actually have uh, ILB overriding Weapons of Fate. And even though that is the case, um, Weapons of Fate still works fine. There's no conflict in terms of ballistic weapons and whatnot. So yeah. I cannot suggest this enough, and maybe, um, yeah, maybe try it out with this other mod here too, and check out his uh, jungle camo mod. Really good. All right, let's get to the rest of the video. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and show you, uh, kind of do like a compare and contrast between weapons of fate and improved lighting ballistics. So I'm gonna start off uh, by saying one, I don't have an EMB. All I am using is True Storms, uh, ELFX, and Darker Nights. So it may look a little bit darker in the video than from what I'm seeing, but here we go. So this is the ballistics of Weapons of Fate. If you are only using improved uh, ballistic lighting, this will look uh, obviously very different. And let's go ahead to an automatic weapon. All right. No big deal. Now, here we go. It's outside. Check it on inside. I mean, it makes all the difference in the world as you'll see hopefully as i get into a actual laser fight i mean this mod gives the game such an amazing star wars feel this is why i can never play without it look at that i mean come on look at the oh look at that it's so goddamn good Oh, I'm just going to sploosh my goosh, like, this entire mod. If that right there isn't enough to make you want to download this mod, then this isn't the mod for you. You have no taste whatsoever and you shouldn't even play fallout 4. i'm just I, i'm being a little hyperbolic because i just love this mod so much so anyway that is basically kind of the uh compare and contrast uh well actually and i'll even do a heavy contrast here real quick just so you can kind of see the difference so that is weapons of fate now the lighting isn't as dramatic but I actually do like the contrast in having weapons of fate where the ballistics of actual, you know, what we would consider real world bullet elements uh, look very different from like, you know, the more futuristic. Um, I actually, I don't know. It just, it feels right for Fallout 4 for some reason. Uh, so anyway, let's go ahead and see if we can get into an actual fight where we're not only shooting, but getting shot at.